Hello everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. Um, today I'm doing a video, it's actually the start of a new series of videos that's all related to improving your buffs, uh, particularly with a focus on PvP and Battlefield. Uh, in part because I'm I'm working on uh, trying to get my alliance to you know collectively improve all of our buffs, get to the point where you know people aren't dying quite as easily, and you know we're we're filling rallies and our rallies are doing more damage, right? Because uh, really, battlefield is one of the most fun parts of this game, uh, and so if you're uh, if you're you know, seriously playing this game, Battlefield should be where you're having the most fun or you're, you know, Im improving the most or it pushes you to improve the most. Uh, so part one of uh, this, it's going to be a, a many series uh, uh, of videos of trying to improve your buffs. Uh, part one is going to be defense. Um, so defense is, of course, the most important thing in the game i will say uh if you and it's the first thing that you should focus on if you can't defend quite frankly you can't attack right because if you if you can't defend you're you're going to be zeroed before you can before you're even able to attack sure you can be quick you can do you can you know bubble you can you know do whatever you can port you can do all those things but eventually you're going to run out of ports in battlefield or you know if you're playing svs you know someone's going to catch you with with uh you know uh, attacking you uh, at some point and so uh, unless you're able to ghost all of your troops and that's not really what i'm targeting this video for uh that audience uh really you need to be able to defend uh and so this is going to be a super high level overview um, super quick overview, hopefully, of all of the different aspects of defense. Uh, and I actually, I won't say that. It's not going to be all of the aspects of defense. Defense is probably the most complicated thing in the game. There's a lot of different builds. I'm not going to say that there's one right build. I will maybe recommend certain things that are uh, pretty universally applicable, but I'm not I'm not going to you know give you an exact troop composition. I'm not going to give you uh, exact exact things that you're that you're looking for. And there's going to be buffs that I'm not going to be talking about just because there's so many buffs in this game and there's so many different ways to get them. Uh, but first, uh, you need your main city general and your assistant general. Um, ignore the the red star on the assistant general; it does not apply. Uh, but on the main general, it does. Um, you first, you'll need to you know p obviously pick your your main city defense general. Um, I have Leo the third here. I'm still working on getting fragments. Uh, I've really struggled to get fragments for him, unfortunately. Um, and in fact, if I were to do it all again, I would probably have picked a different general, even though I do actually really like Leo the third. I think he's one of the best generals in the game um, for defense. But uh, if you're if you're picking out a new general, uh, particularly if you're not a big coiner, I would suggest um, I would suggest getting Boudica. Uh, Boudica, I think, is probably the best tavern general. Uh, I don't actually know where uh, there there she is. Um, it's you know she's one of the the better uh, defense generals in the tavern, and you know has decent decent ascending. So uh, if you're if you're gonna start fresh, uh, I would say pick Queen Boudica. Uh, pick a, an assistant that pairs uh, with one one of the focus areas that you're trying to increase your buffs in. You know, so if you're trying to increase your buffs for uh, mounts, um, you can use Li Naomasa. Uh, or if you're trying to do siege, you can use you know a more siege targeted general ground you know uh, same same thing there um i'm not going to give specific pairings just because you know it is it is so different based on what what kind of power level and what you're actually defending from um but yeah once you have your general obviously you want your your gear and your refines um so if we take a quick look um the so if you have civ gear, great. 
Uh, the Koryu set is the defending set. There's no other defending set, really. Uh, there are maybe a few uh, niche uh, things that you can do, you know, switching up some of the sets here. But I would, overall, I would recommend, you know, full Koryu if you have it. Uh, otherwise, if not, you know, it, you're you're going to be going with Akinen, uh, Akinen uh, uh gear. And, you know, I would still say if you're, if you're a free-to-play player, your first couple pieces of Civ gear should probably be the choreo set because again defense is the most important um and then out of those things you know the most important things are going to be for for defense uh hp is is super super important it basically allows uh you know if you have higher hp you'll have less less that are wounded or dead um it, when you're getting attacked um I have mine set up kind of for a mix of flats and percents. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, the other, the other kind of main thing that you need to be doing for your defense general is to have a dragon on him. Um, that would be the dragon of Thebes. If you, you know, if you haven't unlocked Wonder Two, uh, that is that is a huge, huge first priority for you. Um, but uh, assuming that you know you've you've unlocked Dragon of Thebes at this point, this is going to be one of the most important ones to level up uh, fastest. Uh, you can also refine it, of course, and you know you can add you know more flats or more percents here. Um, if you're if you're you know if you had placed well in last All Stars, you might have the the new dragon. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't, so I don't have it. Uh, but it has you know really good defense buffs. Um, and yeah, you can do, you can actually do some kind of cool things around that as well. Uh, particularly having two, two dragons for defending, you can do things like switching out generals, uh, and they both have dragons on them and have different kind of sets of refines and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not going to get a, a ton into that now. Uh, but yeah, Dragon of Thebes. Uh, super important to have for your defense. If you don't have Dragon of Thebes, you can use um, you can use the uh, Jawazar dragon. I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, it's you know it's got some. Uh, I don't have it, of course, uh, as you can see, but it has some some in city buffs. But I. I I'm not a huge fan of, of using that there. Uh, there is also the, I believe the Kong spiritual beast. Let me take a, a quick look here. Uh, but until, uh, sorry, no, Godzilla uh, spiritual beast, uh, which, you know, has has decent buffs, but you can't, uh, you can't actually do, um, you can't actually use the, um, refines or anything like that and so you're you are losing out so uh when you can you want to use dragons on your generals um so that's kind of the the overall you know buffs you have your 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 main city general your assistant general uh the specialties of course are important to to unlock those as well once you've figured out kind of who you're who you're locking into on your on your wall general and assistant wall general system wall general you can you know obviously switch in and out so it's maybe a secondary priority for the specialties but uh still still a pretty big priority there um and then you know the the dragon on them uh then next the you know one of the biggest parts of of defending is debuffs and so for debuffs you want to have your you have you know a couple different different avenues of actually getting the debuffs but one of the main things is the subgens and the subgen gear uh, and subgen specialties so subgen uh, will have basically what you're interested in is the debuffs here right so uh, for this one it's reduce enemy troops attack by 30 percent and enemy troops defense by by 10 percent when the general is leading the army. So if he's sitting in your subs, that does actually apply. Um, I'm assuming that most of you guys know this, uh, but let's let's talk about, about what you're actually focusing on here. So here you're focusing on uh, debuffing, obviously the troops, but there's different, not all debuffs are made the same. 
So the most common attacking march that you're going to be hit with probably is going to be archers. Um, and so increasing that archer attack debuff uh, is going to be a huge, huge priority. And so focusing on that, uh, both in terms of, you know, you can see here, range troop attack debuff, uh, that's that's a huge benefit here. Why you would get uh, Nordic Barbarian King or, you know, why you would pick a lot of the sub generals is if they're, if they're focused on range troop attack debuff, um, and you know, there's there's other things basically based on kind of your power level and what you're getting hit with. If you're getting hit with siege, you want to uh, debuff siege HP uh, uh, as much as you can uh, because you know that's it's very easy to debuff siege attack, but siege HP is is very difficult to to debuff, and actually siege defense is very difficult to debuff. But out of those two, siege HP is more important to debuff. And so, um, yeah, that's that's a that's a more of a focus for bigger players. Um, but let's let's go through kind of the the basic setup of the sub general. Um, uh, this is basically the the gear that I would recommend. Uh, you can can switch out specific pieces or if you're you know if you have some civ gear that you're trying to flip in and out you can do that but i you know that's that's on a situational basis so first the courageous Achaemenide uh ring uh which gives you the enemy range troop attack minus 40 percent this is a must-have you absolutely must have this on all of your subgens uh unless you have a very specific setup but i would suggest uh, you know, if you're not max debuffing the enemy range troop attack, uh, you need to have this on all of your subgens. Then uh, fearless leg armor. Um, this gives you siege machine attack debuff and range troop defense debuff. Uh, there's also one that gives mount attack debuff. Uh, so you can flip those ones in and out, uh, but I, I like this one better for kind of the, the basic set. The Courageous Helmet uh, gives ground debuffs for defense and HP. Um, that's that's a pretty solid choice. There's, again, a different... Uh, the the Fearless one is uh, gives only has one debuff, but it's for mount attack. So if you're really low on mount attack, you can kind of play around switching some of those things out. The uh, Axe... I would say this is this is a pretty solid piece. You want to have this in a lot of your a lot of your subs as well, uh, or all of them. You know, won't hurt uh, because the range troop HP debuff here, and then ground troop HP. You know, people are getting to the point where ground troop HP is is getting to the point where it's no longer super easy to fully debuff. So that gives you a, a decent amount there. Uh, the courageous armor i think this one is the best for sure i think the other one is just without the the mount troop defense one it's just like siege attack debuff uh, so definitely do this one and then for the boots this one is by far the best right you have uh again it's it's one of those where it's it's just a no-brainer so you you need you need this one for it uh mount troop attack debuff and siege attack debuff uh, and you can see, you can see that it's important to get to five stars on all of them, and it's important to have the entire set because you get that additional 15% uh, enemy troop attack debuff there for the full set, and that applies for each one of your your subgens that have the full set. Uh, so that's that's a that's a pretty decent percentage there that you can get. Uh, but you can see that I have not refined this at all. The refines are not super important on on subs because the positive buffs only apply to the troops that are in the sub itself, but the debuffs apply to all of the enemy troops. And so uh, that's why you know I have a lot that are not refined here. I save my refining stones for other things. Um, so that's kind of the main thing. Uh, the other thing you'll want here for sure is. They did also release uh, debuff skill gen or skill books. Uh, so if you have any of those, that would obviously be a great place to put them on the subgens uh, because you can get them attacking on. You can get the debuffs when you're attacking and when you're defending. Uh, but barring that, 
uh, probably the most important uh, skill book that you need on here is the uh, level four rebirth because this this gives you the um, it gives the survival rate of five percent for all of the troops that are that are in that subsidy. So if you're attacking someone and you don't have any survival rate, all of your sub troops will die, and you'll have to wait for them to regenerate to get to get that debuffs back. Uh, that that's particularly applicable in SVS because in SVS your subgen or your subgens will die after you do a solo hit, uh, and so you need to <laughs> that leaves you very vulnerable because you don't have the debuff uh, here. Uh, so, but in battle, this is more of a battlefield thing. Uh, it it basically allows for your your troops to not all die in your subsidies so that you can hit multiple times without having to wait for your sub sub troops to to replenish. Um, yeah, super quick overview of of uh, of like the 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 subgens and, and stuff like that. Uh, they also can be ascended, of course, and they have decent decent buffs in in ascending as well um i will say that uh for free-to-play players i still think that there's um in terms of 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 good generals that you can get free to play uh it's i would still say that andrew jackson is is still pretty good uh has decent ascending um again debuffs range troop attack 20 percent um, and then as you get to the fourth and fifth refine, you get additional range troop attack debuff. Um, so, and you can get them from the tavern. Uh, but there's, you know, there's a bunch of sub generals out there. I'm not going to go through the entire list. I'm not going to tell you, you know, who is, who's really good and who's really not. Uh, but you can kind of know, know what you're prioritizing, right? So you first want to prioritize getting that, that archer attack debuff as high as you can. Um, and then, you know, Siege Machine HP as high as you can, uh, Mount Attack as, you know, as high as you can. Um, you don't really need to focus too much on Siege Attack uh, because that's that's in almost all of those. If you looked at almost all of those uh, debuffs, almost all of them had, uh, or, you know, three of the pieces had Siege, attack, siege Machine Attack debuffs. So that's that's a huge percentage per uh, per subgen, you know that you're that you're getting. So usually it's pretty easily easy to, besides maybe the top top players to to fully debuff um, their 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 siege attack. And when I mean when I say fully debuff, that means basically you debuff half of their attack or half of their stats. Um, and that's the that's the max that you can do. You can't debuff any higher than that. Um, and you know, it's getting to the point where it's actually very difficult to to debuff. You know, a lot more than that for you know some of the top players. So um, yeah. And then the other thing I'll say here is that uh, the the uh, specialties also will apply. Uh, the second specialty will apply, and the fourth specialty will apply for the uh, subgens. So you can see that this one is enemy troop defense. Um, the first and the third won't apply because those are positive buffs. Well, they will apply, but they'll only apply to that subsidy troops itself, not to all of your other troops. So uh, really, you're only using you're only unlocking these ones to get to the fourth uh, specialty here. But uh, if you're looking for additional attack, defense, or HP debuff, uh, you can look at uh, unlocking the the second specialty of your of your subgens as well. So let's quickly um, let's quickly take a look at at a defense report. Uh, this is from someone in my alliance. Uh, it's by no means a. I hope that's not actually. It's not actually the one that I wanted. Uh, let me grab it real quick. Uh, it was from the last our last battlefield, uh, at which we did a lot of defending on because they were actually very very strong. They were from a newer server, um, and so uh, this is from someone in my alliance. Uh, 
not to you know not to shame them or anything like that i just wanted to kind of point out uh certain things and i didn't have a really good report that illustrates this um so you can see the 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 buffs here and the debuffs here uh and then the attacking buffs over here so you can see the attacking buffs are super good here uh they had amazing buffs um and so the first thing that you're looking for in a in a defense report is, you know, your buffs. You want to make sure that these are are super solid. And in fact, in in particular, um, you know, at a keep this size, 11 billion, you know, you're probably going to get hit by, you know, unless you're facing the the really top uh, alliances, you're probably going to get hit with Archer first. And so, increasing that mount troop HP as high as you can um is is super critical and then also debuffing as much as you can so you can see debuff here for range attack debuff is a little low i would i would really suggest that that you know you get this uh probably to like 11 1200 uh at the uh at, that would kind of be your your goal um depend it it really depends on how many subs you have uh but uh i know that this player has has you know kind of the f the full assortment of subs so this really should be should be higher uh, and you know i'll have to look and see why that wasn't quite as high uh but then the next thing for for defense is you want to get reins in um for a big rally uh, like this this is a 46 million rally um and you know again decent buffs and we ended up getting about 12 million uh reigns in and you want to counter counter the the attack of course so uh if they're sending range you want to send ground um so that you can you can uh protect as many of the as many of the defending troops and and get as many kills as possible so you can see that the the reins were all ground and decently solid reins uh but as you can see here you know it's still lost uh still came out fairly negative here the reins didn't die but uh, a lot of the troops did die here and so uh you'll see that the the mount troops will will die because you know they're being targeted from uh the range attack um and you know all the way down to the t1s all die here and so once the basically when an archer uh rally is coming at you it will kill the mounts first all the way down uh on the mounts and then it'll start on the archers and then go all the way down on the archers and then if it's if it still has you know if it's still killing it will go uh and kill the ground next and then finally the siege uh if you're getting zeroed you know the siege will will die last because it's you know uh it's furthest back it's it's not getting targeted from the archers quite as early um and so you can see just by looking at this report just opening this very quickly the first thing that i that i can see uh that's important is that the archers died and so you can tell that the uh that the mounts all are dead um and so if you're looking at a report super quick uh that's that's what you're that's what you're gonna gonna look for um and that's that's actually something that you want to prevent you don't want to have all your mounts die and fall through to the archers on an archer rally because that really opens you up for a a mount rally uh, to to you know kind of clean clean up because uh, you know if you lose all of your archers you you're you're really just down to siege and 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 ground and uh, mounts is going to do really really well against that and so um, I'll talk very very briefly about kind of what what you're looking to do here to to stop uh stop your archers from dying and it it has a it it basically is related to t1s um t1s are the cheapest troops to build um and so uh and they can act as essentially like a meat wall for uh for your your defense and so you can see here they all died here um but ideally you know you would they would the enemy archers would get stuck attacking all of the the t1 mounts and uh the reins and the main main defender would eventually kill all of the uh 
all of the attacking troops and that would save those archers. Um, and so I would suggest really at this point, at this level of, of keep, uh, again, it's, it's, you know, 11 billion, almost 12 billion, um, probably you know this was a little bit into into the battlefield uh, you probably want to have somewhere between 500 million and a, a billion t1 mounts um, and then have flat refines uh, and it's it's this is not this is not related to uh, t1 traps right t1 traps are are a thing uh, but this is more a t1 wall this is to to keep your troops alive and keep you able to survive a rally. Um, T1 traps are trying to go point positive on on solos. Uh, no one's really going to be soloing uh, a, a an 11, 12 billion keep and expecting to, to to kill them in one shot, you know. And so, really having those T1s um, again, you know, 500 million to a to a billion. That will likely increase as everyone's everyone's buffs increase. Um, and then the other thing that you want to do there is to um, use flat refines. So flat refines. Uh, let me quickly find my wall gen, uh, and we can quickly talk about flat refines. So flat refines. You can see that between the, the the refines here, there's percentage refines, and then there's these flat refines. And so flat refines uh, apply to just the base stats of each troop type, uh, and it's not a percentage increase over that. It's just this is I am increasing the mount HP by you know 1900 you know for for mount HP, and that applies for every single level of your of your mounts, um, but it's most effective for the lower tiers because uh, the lower tiers have lower starting stats, and so this increases them quite a bit. And so, uh, if you're if you're doing the 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 T1 wall, you want to have mount HP flats. Um, uh, I would I would say you know depending on your power level, you might want to do all of them uh, mount HP flats here and here. Uh, you can see I have more Mount HP flats there, uh, and then uh, basically the way that you you should be you should be you know trying to figure out do I have uh, enough T ones do I have you know to to be able to survive is again doing that that quick check seeing okay I was archer rallied and sometimes uh, this is this is a little bit dependent if you're if you're a little bit weaker you know I would I would say look at a report where you're you're fairly close to to full power um but are are your is it killing all of your mounts and is it falling through to your archers if that's the case you need to build more t1 mounts uh and you know if you don't have flat refines or if you don't have enough flat refines uh you know work on those on those flat refines for hp and uh you can also do mount flats uh for defense as well um, and so that's that's kind of my rule of thumb. Um, there's of course bigger rallies, and you know it's 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 getting kind of crazy. But the most important thing is being able to survive a rally and being able to still have troops that you can attack with. And so typically you're attacking with those archers, and so you don't want those to die. Um, in addition to you know protecting your 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 archers for an additional defense, you also want to be able to attack with those. And so. Uh, and what you really, really don't want to do is you don't want to be zeroed in one shot because that that's going to give up a ton of points, and it's also going to you know you're not going to have any troops to be able to attack with unless you heal marches. Um, so that's kind of my my general rule of thumb. Uh, this video has gotten fairly long, so I'll I'll uh, end this here. Um, but this is this is just the first again of the series. I'll be talking just in general how to um, how to tackle your buffs, how to improve your buffs, um, and you know, kind of starting with with defending, then going into attacking, and uh, and you know, battle mechanics and or battlefield mechanics. I would say I'm I'm not going to break down too much of of the battle mechanics here i'm i'm more focused on in a battlefield how do you how do you work as a team how do you get better as a team 
And so uh, the next video will be on uh, duty generals, uh, particularly related to defense again. Um, and from here on out, I'm going to try and break it down into a lot more manageable pieces where I'm going to focus on a single topic uh, at one time. Um, and so if you're interested in this, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, watch out for the, the coming videos. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.